High blood pressure is often called the silent killer. That's because it rarely has any symptoms, yet it causes two thirds of strokes and nearly half of all heart attacks. Shockingly, as many as six million people in the UK have it of all ages, and many of them don't even know they have it until they're diagnosed by perhaps having a screening or when they have a heart attack or a stroke. Your blood pressure isn't something you can see or feel, but it's there in your arteries as it flows around your body, pumped rhythmically by your heart. Your blood pressure can be healthy or it can be too low, but more often it can be too high, which puts your heart at risk. If your blood pressure is in the healthy range, this protects your heart and your blood vessels. If it's raised, your blood pushes with too much force against your artery walls and they become damaged. This leads to a range of problems, including heart failure, kidney disease, vascular dementia, poor circulation. Blood clots can also form in the damaged arteries, causing heart attacks and strokes. But the good news is that high blood pressure is usually preventable, which is why knowing your numbers is the most important first step you can take for your health. So what causes high blood pressure? Well, for some people, it may be the result of a condition such as kidney disease. However, for most people, about 9 out of 10, it doesn't have one particular cause. It may be a combination of factors, such as your ethnicity, your family history, your genes, and particularly if you're of black or South Asian descent. But the most important thing for most people is lifestyle. What you do and what you eat every day of your life adds up to what your blood pressure will be. Are you eating well? Are you eating lots of processed meals and sauces with salt in them? Are you trying to take some daily exercise? Do you smoke? And are you trying to keep a healthy weight for your size? All these things can have an impact on what your blood pressure is. There is only one way to know your blood pressure numbers, and that's to have it measured. And it could save your life. It's very quick, simple and painless, and usually free. You can do it at the GPs, with your practice nurse or a pharmacist, or with a simple bit of kit, you can do it at home. And what's more, people often find it's very empowering because you can take your blood pressure when you like, when you're relaxed at home, and it puts you in control. Firstly, measure your blood pressure at a time that's convenient for you. If it's in the morning, then do it before eating or taking any medication. Don't smoke, have caffeinated drinks, or exercise for 30 minutes before measuring your blood pressure. Sit quietly for a few minutes, get yourself in a comfortable position with your legs and ankles uncrossed. Try to be calm, still and quiet. Make sure your arm is positioned properly. Rest your arm, raised to the level of your heart, on a table, desk or chair arm. You might need to place a pillow or cushion under your arm. Roll up your sleeve, place the cuff on bare skin or over thin fabric. Turn the monitor on and press start when you're ready. The cuff inflates quite quickly, which will feel like a squeeze. If your monitor doesn't log blood pressure numbers, write them down. Take a repeat reading. The first reading is almost always high, so wait for a couple of minutes and then do it again. Then take an average of those two readings and write it down. Take your blood pressure at the same time each day as it varies throughout the day. Take your blood pressure every day for a week and then just once a month or so after that. Your blood pressure will be written as two numbers, a top number, the systolic, and a bottom number, the diastolic. The top number is the most important, especially if you are in the older range. A reading of 120 over 80 and up to 140 over 90 is considered pre-high blood pressure. You don't have high blood pressure yet, but it could rise with time, so it's good to keep an eye on it and take steps to lower it. 140 over 90 or over is considered high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. The risk of illness is notably higher, but don't panic. If your blood pressure readings are high, your doctor or healthcare team can help you get it under control. That's why knowing your numbers can save your life. It puts you in control and can help you live well for longer.